Hey y'all, how y'all doing tonight? Show you what I did today. Uh, I got the scalpel finished. Red oak handles. Just a little bit of Gorilla Glue to clean up finger grooves. I beveled the edges of the finger grooves. It's very cool looking. Sorry about that. That's my neighbor. He's drunk. <laughs> but, uh, it's as sharp as a razor, that little thing is. Then I made, I had, like, one of the tines off the back of the uh, file left, and I made a charm for a necklace out of it. I guess it could be used for a striker, too, because it's high-carbon steel. But I heated it up and uh, twisted it, hammered it flat, kind of like the old, um, Old West jewelry they had, colonial, day, colonial days, what the hell you call that, sorry. <laughs> colonial, colonial days, like the old frontier men they used to have. But uh, I still got to close the gap up some in the back, but I heated it up, twisted it, hammered it flat. Let me know what y'all think about that. I'm going to, I don't know, to either try to heat blue it or put some varnish over it where it won't rust. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to try to maybe engrave my initials or if somebody's interested in it. Whoever's interested in it, I'll put their initials in it. Or if anybody's interested in one different design or something, let me know. It's pretty cool. Need a heavy. It's pretty neat. And then I made my aunt something. <laughs> Forge this out of a file that's like a little cleaver. I gotta clean up that area right there. And some beveling in here. And she's like three foot five, maybe, maybe four foot. So she's a real small person. So I made her a real small cleaver. <laughs> Be real thin, short. So, let me know what y'all think. There's the size comparison to the cleaver to the scalpel. And a size comparison to the uh, charm. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all have a good night.